Okay, good morning. Welcome to day two of our cruise. Uh, we slept in until about, I don't know, I think it was like 9.30 or so. And uh, I headed down and got us a couple cups of coffee while Dan checked out the laundry situation because we need to do some laundry because we did have three days at Disney World before we came on the cruise. So um, we needed to um, do some laundry. So we woke up, had our cups of coffee out here and looked at this beautiful view and our little chairs out here. So nice, the, per the temperature is perfect. Um, so Cabana's is open for breakfast until uh, 1045, so we have about oh, 1045. Yeah, 45 minutes to go get some breakfast while our laundry kind of does its thing. One cool thing that we just figured out, or Dan figured out, is that it literally notifies you on your on the app when your laundry is done. That's so cool, so we don't have to like keep checking on it or anything. We'll know because it'll let us know. Kind of went through the activities that are happening today and um, put a few things on our schedule and uh, so we have some things lined up. Very excited for. Um, I think we're going to go on the aqueduct first thing after breakfast I think. So we're in our swimsuits. But yeah, come along we'll go get some breakfast at Cabana's. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> We've arrived at Cabana's for breakfast. Do you want to grab a plate? Oh yeah. <laughs> How are you? Hi. So we have bacon and sausage, scrambled eggs, cheese and chives scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah. Yum. Dan's gonna get started. I'm gonna show you everything that we've got here. Assorted Danishes. It's like croissants and muffins. Cajun spiced potatoes. Yum. Grilled tomatoes, sautéed mushrooms, sautéed spinach. I definitely want some of those potatoes. Maybe one of those tomatoes. Biscuits and gravy? Oh my. Hash brown? I don't want to load up on too much of Okay, I want a hash brown. <laughs> corned beef hash. I don't know if I like corned beef hash. Hash brown? Yeah. Got blueberry pancakes, Mickey waffles, and buttermilk pancakes. All the fixins over here. Then we've got like maple syrup. Okay. Strawberry compote, whipped cream, English muffins, bagels, bread, eggs Benedict with hollandaise sauce. And then this is looks like more of the same here. And then we have some donuts here. Chocolate donuts, raspberry donuts, streusel, yum, it's making some of those eggs with the chives right now with some cheese and chives, yummy. Okay, what's, there, what's behind us? Oh. Looks like granola and yogurt or something. Some different fixins for some granola and yogurt, some milks, milk alternatives and things, cereals. Ooh, fruit. Ooh. Maybe put some fruit in a bowl here. Ooh, yeah. Cantaloupe. Look at that grapefruit, looks good too. Up in the top right. And then I believe it just kind of all starts over again over here. So it's got like another section. We've got our seat at Cabana's by the window. Seems like everyone got breakfast a little late this morning. <laughs> yeah. So. Got a nice plate of stuff going on. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, we finished breakfast. We tried a little bit of almost everything, I think, except for actually, there's probably a lot we didn't there's a try. Lot we didn't have. <laughs> but these we are didn't. really good. Yeah. So the gravy's really good. Biscuits are soft. The bottoms are yeah, are pretty crispy. And it's hard to cut through the bottom. I left my bottom there, but they have a good flavor. It's just kind of tough to get through. Yeah. But, the fruit was all really fresh and ripe yeah, and really good. Fresh. I loved the pineapple and the grapefruit. 
and bacon really good, smoky. Yeah. On the smoky side. I liked the sausage, the breakfast oh. sausage. It was like, I don't know, it had a good, it was cooked really well. Yeah. I liked that. Oh. Omelette, we discovered the omelette on our second <laughs> trip up. Um, I guess there were omelets further down. Were they making them or were they just out kind of yeah, like that? there's a few out. Okay. Was that the only like flavor? It was that and just a cheese omelet. Okay. So I don't want to like the cheese omelet. Yeah, the only thing I didn't is there, I wish there was cheese on that omelet, but it's just veggies. But it was good. And then we tried a couple of donuts. Mm -hmm. This one was really, really good. The chocolate one was real good. I don't know. It was I good. It just wasn't special. Yeah, the, the raspberry jam in the middle was like really cool. I don't know. I just felt that to be weird. And then the donut was kind of like hard, like like uh, dense, I guess is the word. Overall, it was very good. Yeah, really good. Got some orange juice, Minute Maid orange juice from the station over there. When the stop eats. Yeah, you tell him it's okay to leave a little bit. I don't like either. I don't yeah. either, but. Yeah. All right, and our washer and dryer, I mean, our washer's done. It notified you on the phone? Well, I got one of them. So I'm starting to think maybe one of them is. <laughs> kind of, they're both. Cool. Please empty the machine as soon as possible. Okay, so we gotta go do that. Put them in the dryer. Yeah, so that's cool. I'll let you know on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Well, sh maybe we'll show you the the washing, the dryer washer. Because no one's ever, I've never seen anyone show that on vlogs. So maybe I'll show you that. Uh, what do they call it? The uh, laundry? I don't know. <laughs> okay. This is the laundry. So Dan came in this morning and. Couple irons. Okay. So what you do is you have to come here first. You would tap your card. I guess I can get through it a little bit, huh? All right, then you'd, uh, you can view what you have, you can return any unused or you purchase. And then you got your washing machine, your dryer, and then your laundry products. They're a dollar each cycle, or a dollar per box. And it says a full box, so a dollar for a full thing of laundry, half a box for a half a thing of laundry. So you would. Say you're doing one load, you would do one of each. Right, buy those, and you'd okay. have three tokens on your room card. Okay, so you already bought all the cycles that we yeah, need. Yeah, these are our clothes. Okay. Right and then this is where you buy your product. You just put your card here, it'll go through a little thing, and then it'll prompt you to pick what you want. Okay. And then same with this, you can pick your cycles. I pick my cycles first, and then hit my card on here, and it starts. And it says in use when it's working. Cool. So now we gotta move them up to the dryer. All right. We got two dryers, right, and two washers. Yeah, I don't know how you open this. Is this? this is how I do it. Or I think you can do it different, but one. I don't know. Dryers are different. So hmm. come down here. It's got a little arrow pointing up for dryer. The washer's down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Redeem token. And you pick your select your program. Select off. program. Extra drive. Cool. Good. Mm -hmm. Dryer, there's an arrow there. Yeah, it said something when you yeah. tapped it. It said, it'll probably say, you have zero wa- oh, you wa- <laughs> I was trying to read that message that was on there. Okay. I think it said like how many tokens or something you had. Cool. So 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be dry in 20 minutes, do you? They weren't that, they were spun pretty good. Okay, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. It's extra dry. So we got an iced latte at the Cove Cafe. It's probably pretty windy. We've got a little wind muff on our camera, but we'll see how well that helps out. But this is still part of the... Oh, it's closed to the high wind. 18 and older section here on deck. Right, what are we on now? 13? 12? It's a cute little pool here too. This is the very front of the ship. Ooh, yeah. Spotted some spots. beach hair going on. Cool. We're on our way to our massages at Census Spa. 
I got a massage for, or a couple's massage, 50 minutes. Very 50? excited. Yep. Okay. So we'll, I'll record what I can, but probably mostly just going to enjoy. Yeah. So here we go. Bye, y'all. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that any use of photography and audio or video recording devices is strictly prohibited. We ask that you refrain from the use of cellular devices during the performance. And as a courtesy to your fellow guests, we ask that all electronic devices be turned to the silent mode. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Okay, we're at Aladdin. About to start though, and I can't film, but I just wanted to show the stage. Just got done with our massages. They were absolutely amazing. So, we're gonna watch the show, and then we'll catch up with you uh, after it's over and let you know what we think. Dan's grabbing some popcorn. Moving on to number six. Doing some 70s music trivia. Uh, this is O'Gill's Pub. We sucked real bad. Massages. We went to the Aladdin show. Um, it was really good. My hair That's looks my crazy. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, Aladdin was good. Oh, really? really cool uh, costumes. The singers were great. Um, Some fireworks. So, were yeah, the fireworks were cool. Um, so that was really fun. And then we just uh, jumped over to O'Gill's. And so it's called O'Gill's. Yeah. Little, so, little Irish bar. Yeah. They're doing a 70s trivia thing, um, which we just did our first trivia. It was really fun. I like that. Ooh, the lighting is right now. Ooh, there's my screen go. <laughs> um, and we just got a couple glasses of wine, and we're just uh, finishing our wine. You know, we have about 15 minutes before we can mosey on down to dinner, which is at Animator's Palette tonight. Very excited about that. So we'll it's show you that. It's formal night. We're not super yeah. formal, but no, not really. we got better clothes on than normal. <laughs> yeah. So, excited for Animator's Pellet, and uh, we'll bring you along, so we'll see you there. Bye. Let's go. Okay, tonight dinner is going to be at Animator's Pellet. Very excited about this. I've heard a lot about it. We're going to go in right over here. Menu looks really good. We already checked it out a little bit. 34. Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Cool. I don't know. I thought someone was seating us. <laughs> Look around, honey. There's all these artwork around everywhere. So we're looking for table 46. It's the same as last night. Oh, here we are. Oh, I don't care. Okay, we got seated at our table 46. So last night I showed this little thing and it was a little, uh, uh, oh, thank you. Got the menu. Our little table holder, remember it was like Cinderella dancing with the prince? And tonight it's a little um, paintbrush. Can I get a picture of my Cinderella? Yeah. Look at that cute little knife. That's like a paintbrush. That's so cute. Look at that. I'm gonna do this again. Adorbs. Sorry, I'm gonna bug you. It's okay. 
sorry. That's okay. We got our bread. Focaccia. It's focaccia. Focaccia bread and some uh, garlic. Oh yeah, I can smell the garlic. Oil of some sort. Garlic infused olive oil probably. <laughs> we love bread. <laughs> we shouldn't, but we do. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So yeah, animator's palette. We're very excited. Menu came. We'll show you what we get and talk about it as we go. Believe it. The menu at Animator's Palette tonight, I think it changes periodically, so this is what it is right now. Um, so we got three appetizers to choose from, or sorry, I'm showing the specialty beverages right now. We're not going to do those tonight. Tonight we're just going to stick with some wine because we just had wine. Yeah. And those kind of sound very sweet and I, I just don't really feel like that right now. Same with Daniel. Yeah. Same with me. But I do love the bread. <laughs> um, appetizers, they've got the salmon tartare, smoked salmon tartare, sliced tar serrano ham, black truffle pasta, and a tomato tart. Soups and salads, again they have two different soups to choose from, a couple of salads, and again the bread, uh, we already have over here and then you know normally it's kind of the normal formula of uh, dishes but you know they have a pasta dish a fish dish chicken pork and uh, steak and then again they have a couple of vegetarian options and then some lighter things if you prefer that so we're gonna take a look at this yeah, let's let's set our uh, set our menu. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Starting to change in here. Got some bubbles going under the sea. The ceiling got some stars on it. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Crush! There you go. Probably the best view. I got it. Oh, jellyfish. Okay, our appetizers have arrived. This one is, let me grab the, my phone so I can <laughs> get it right. This one is the um, sliced serrano ham with manchego cheese and olive tapenade. And this one is the uh, black truffle pasta set, which is pasta purses filled with truffle scented cheese and coated with a delicate champagne sauce. Dan's going to try his and let us know what he thinks. I'm not a huge truffle fan, so I might taste it, but I probably won't. They're all one piece, I gotcha. Yeah, I was expecting a little more truffle. Yeah. 
Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sorry, there was a lot going on around me. This is very good, it's tasty. It's um, not quite as um, truffly as I was expecting for some reason, but it was very yummy. And now uh, Haida's gonna try her Serrano ham. I don't know why. Is that bread? It's like a little bread stick or something. And that's the olive tapenade on there. Ah. Uh, it kind of looks like prosciutto, but it says Serrano ham. I'm not sure what the difference is. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for this and like eat it this way. And that's what Manchego cheese. Is Manchego a strong flavor or mild? It's a hard cheese, kind of like a Parmesan oh. Reggiano. It's kind of strong too. Are you saying Parmigiano Reggiano? Cool. So you like it? Yeah. Okay. I think you should try one of these. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, our next course arrived. He's getting us some fresh black pepper. Um, but this is the uh, creamy butternut squash soup, garnished with chives and drizzled with sour cream. And then that's the chicken walnut, chicken uh, and walnut salad with dried cranberries, red onions, and a cranberry dressing. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Uh, really good. <laughs> Creamy butternut squash Smells <laughs> really good. I know that face. It needs salt. It needs salt. <laughs> really good. Yeah. You want to put a little salt on it? No. no. It's good. Very creamy. It's definitely made, I think, with like a uh, chicken broth. Maybe vegetable broth, but uh, I feel like it tastes chicken meat. So. Oh. It's good. Cool. It was actually a whale, okay? I'm speaking to him. Where are you? Oh, come on, it's Chico! Oh, oh, no, I don't know. What is this? Alright, so Dan's going to try the uh, chicken and walnut salad. It's got uh, dried cranberries, red onions, and a cranberry dressing. It looks like arugula, mm. which we had some last night and it was really good. Although it doesn't look like it's only arugula this time. Oh, I see apples in there too. Mm. An apple. Piece of chicken. Mm. Oop, can't get it off. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah. Good? Very good. Yeah, the chicken's pretty much just chicken. Yeah. Plus the cranberry um, dressing, the apple, the walnut. Really good. Very good. Oh, thank you. Any awesome time, say chaw. Chaw. Saxon, I'll tell you when I got to know some of you human dudes. Okay, let's talk to you. There's a dude with a pink shell with some sparkle. She's rubbing her face. She's got a pink headband on. Hello, dude. Hi, what's your name? What was that, dude? CJ! And where are you from, CJ, dude? Atlanta. Dude, are there awesome waves in Atlanta, dude? Yeah. Oh, there are? Oh, that is awesome. Okay, dude, I am totally bummed out because I've not surfed any Mac and waves today, dude. CJ, do you think you could help me make a wave? 
Okay. Oh no. All right. Our food arrived. <laughs> that was cute. Our dinner entrees arrived. This is the grilled tuna steak with fingerling confit com caponata, sun-dried tomato pesto, and an aioli. Um, and then this one over here is the uh, lemon thyme marinated all-natural chicken breast. On top, sour cream mashed potatoes, roasted root vegetables, and grain mustard jus. Then he also brought us the panette, penne, bolognese, penne pasta mixed with a rich bolognese sauce, garnished with shaved parmigiano, reggiano, and toasted garlic ciabatta. Yeah, he just said you should try this and brought us some. Yeah, so I think we'll just uh, eat our entrees and we will let you know our thoughts when we're done. Okay, I um, have tried everything out of all the entrees. The um, the tuna was really, really tasty. It was cooked perfectly. You know how it's supposed to be like really pink on the inside? So that was cooked perfectly. Uh, the aioli and the kind of like vegetable, like medley thing that was with it all together tasted really good. Um, the chicken was cooked really perfectly too. Um, I mean, it. It didn't really have like a lemon thyme flavor to it. Maybe the skin, but like the inside was just plain chicken. Which, but it was cooked well. Um, and then the pasta was good too, you know? I had a little bite. Pasta's not my favorite, kind of. Um, but it was really good for what it was. And uh, yeah, so we're just kind of finishing up here. Dan, any final thoughts? Um, I'm full. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put two chicken and it. I really thought that chicken, I wish I could cook chicken like that. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like so juicy, but it's just perfectly cooked. Nothing pink in there. Well, maybe a little bit, but you know how it goes. Yeah. Tuna. Tuna. All these cruises, be ready to eat. Mm. <laughs> Do you think you like this meal better than last night's meal? Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? Which uh, place do you think you liked better so far between last night's Royal Court and Animator's Palette? Yeah, it's hard to say, right? Because I, I feel like I enjoyed the food here better. Yeah. Uh, they got cute little shows. It's kind of like Turtle Talk with Crush. Yeah, you've got a giant shark right behind you. Yeah, that was right. funny. Yeah, it swam away, but yes. yeah. That's cool. It's beautiful. I, I like the elegance of the Royal, was it Royal Court. Royal oh, Court. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think overall, I think I liked the food here better. Yeah. The food here better? Yeah, I think so. I got stuffed faster for some reason, but... We, we eat more bread. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I gotta just have like one piece of bread instead of... Oh, I see a Sunday. Three. But, uh, yeah, it's good. We'll see if we have room for dessert. I do. I see a Sunday. <laughs> Okay, we got the dessert menu. So we've got a crunchy walnut cake, a chocolate fudge cheesecake, cookies and cream sundae, apple crumble rice pudding, and the signature dessert is this lemon icebox pie, which is what uh, we're gonna get one of those. And I think we'll get the uh, crunchy walnut cake. Okay. All right, our dessert has arrived. It's very beautiful. Um, so this is like the, I put away my menu here. This is like a key lime thing, right? Or a lime bar or a lemon bar or something. And then this is like the walnut mousse cake. Very pretty. How was dessert? Ah, don't. Oh, sorry, that's the same one. How was dessert? It was good, man. It was good. I shouldn't have <laughs> ate it, but I did. Oh, so people eat in there too? No, 
because it's not part of our rotation. No, but pe people are eating. Oh yeah, so it's split up. Yeah, they split the ship up. I didn't realize that. Yeah, duh. And different people watch the shows at different nights. Oh. Okay. That's why the cruise director guy was like. At different times, not different nights. Yeah. So everyone that watched. A lot, everyone that watched Aladdin with us tonight also had dinner. Yeah, but not necessarily eight. at a major hotel. Right, but had the later, the later dining. Hi! You didn't get him? Peter Pan yeah, just walked by. Both the desserts were really good. I can't even talk. Both the desserts were really good. Very different though. One was obviously citrus and one was more chocolatey. So, they're really yeah, good. Yeah, one was super rich, one was 